What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ronnie Pugs, back again with another Spider-Man PS4 video, this time talking about my favorite part of most Spider-Man games, and that's going to be the free roaming. Today's topic is going to be covering five things I want to see in Spider-Man PS4's free roaming, my wish list for what I want to see incorporated into this game's free roaming. So without further ado, let's get into it, my Spider-Man PS4 free roaming wish list. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so to start things off, I really want to see weather in this game. I've stressed this a lot that we've never had a Spider-Man free roaming game that contains weather and I don't get it because GTA's been able to do this for years with their free roaming. Just imagine how cool it would be to swing around New York in a thunderstorm and take down some bad guys, or how cool it would be to swing around New York in the snow. I'm not saying Insomniac has to cover the entire city in snow, I just think it'd be cool to get a light snowfall in the game, this would be a Spider-Man game first to include weather, and I'd love to see it in this game. And moving on from that, another want I'd really like to see in this game, and it somewhat relates to my previous want, is a day and night cycle. I can't remember the last time we've had a day and night cycle in a Spider-Man game, I think the last one to do it was Spider-Man 2, and that was all the way back in 2004. And this relates to my previous want, because you could have it one night there's clear skies and the next night it rains. I just think it'd be pretty cool to include a day and night cycle in this game because it adds to the realism of this game. And moving on from that, a more important thing I'd like to see in this game that relates to the actual gameplay would be fun side missions that are optional and not repetitive. Look at a game like Spider-Man 2, you can swing freely around the map and if you choose to do so you can go and stop a crime that appears on the map. That's the perfect way this game should handle petty crimes, we shouldn't be punished for not choosing to do side missions. During free roaming, I'm looking at you, the amazing Spider-Man 2. These side missions should be easy, but not too easy where it gets boring after a while, and keep it fresh by including multiple types of crimes. Maybe one time we stop a mugging in the streets, then the next time we're stopping a speeding driver. And back to my sneak dissing of the Tasm 2 game, we shouldn't know what the side missions are going into them. Make it a surprise, I know in that game the map would show the side mission type whether it's a car chase or rescuing someone from a burning building, Insomniac, keep the side missions a surprise, but a welcomed one, and also don't make them too repetitive. Also Insomniac, hook your boy up with one of those red shirts you guys have been wearing. I wear a size medium, this is like the one piece of Spider-Man memorabilia I need, I think it's one of the best Spider-Man shirts I've seen so hit your boy up. My Twitter is in the description below. So moving on from that, something I'd like to see in this game that I think a lot of fans would enjoy is to have easter eggs or locations around the city that Spider-Man and Marvel fans would recognize instantly. The possibilities are endless with this one and Insomniac's already hinted at this with the Sanctum Sanctorum shown in the Paris Games Week trailer. And a few locations I can think of off the top of my head are the Baxter Building, the Flatiron Building, and maybe every time Peter swings by that he says something like, you know this would be the perfect location for the Daily Bugle. And maybe every time Peter swings around Harlem, someone mentions Luke Cage. You could even throw in the rooftop garden from the Raimi films, and just for the hell of it, you could throw in Joe's Pizza. I'd just like to see hints that this game isn't just in New York, it's in Marvel's New York. And the perfect example of this sort of thing comes from the Ultimate Spider-Man game and the LEGO Marvel games. And for my last want of this wish list that also relates to the city, I want us to have the most realistic and accurate New York as possible, of course with the Marvel twist. Insomniac has said that this is the biggest city they've had in the game and that gives me hopes that not only will it be the biggest city, it's also going to be one of the most realistic. Also I'd really like us to be able to free roam in Queens, it's amazing that a Spider-Man game that came out in 2005 is the only one that allows us to do that. Maybe Aunt May in this game still lives in Queens and that gives us an excuse to go swing over there. So to end this wish list, 5 wants I want to see incorporated into Spider-Man PS4's free roaming are a weather system in the game, whether it be rain, snow, or fog, just something other than clear skies every night. The return of the day and night cycle, it's been a while since we've had this in a Spider-Man game and I'd love to see it return. I'd also like to see the return of Spider-Man 2 influenced side missions that are optional, easy but not too easy, and most importantly not repetitive. I want to see bigger hints at a Marvel Universe, whether that's through buildings or easter eggs throughout the game. Insomniac has already hinted at this in the Paris Games Week trailer, but I want something on par with the Ultimate Spider-Man game. And last but not least, I want to be able to swing around the largest and most realistic New York of any Spider-Man game. Insomniac has said this is the biggest city they've worked on, but not only do I want that, I want it to seem like I can know real life New York like the back of my hand just from playing this game. So let me know what you guys think, are you a fan of any of my wants in the game? Also what do you want out of free roaming in Spider-Man PS4? I know this video isn't as long as my previous Spider-Man PS4 videos and I apologize for that. I'm on a tight schedule today. Also I'd like to thank the Mental Gamer for inspiring me to make this video. He did a free roaming ideas video which I will link down below in the description. And at the time of recording this video we're only 27 subscribers away from 100. 
when I can finally reveal my future plans for this channel. Thanks to everyone that subscribed so far, I really appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys again in my next video.